Hello everyone and welcome back. Dom here and on this video we're going to talk about trackable mice. You've seen them in professional studios, you've seen professional engineers and producers use them, why you might need one in your life. So, trackable mice. I've got so many questions from people when I go to events, when I'm uh, touring with these. I always have one of these with me. Actually, this is one and here I have another one. I like them so much that I have a duplicate just in case one breaks. Yeah, I'm crazy like that. So these mice are extremely popular in the audio community. You see mixing engineers, professional engineers, you know, producers, mastering engineers, they use these mice. And many people wonder, why do these people use those? What's the special thing about them? And to be honest with you, when I first tried one of these mice, I was a little bit strange. I didn't really like the feel. It took me about like five days to get used to them. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you try a trackball, you can never go back to a normal mouse. And I'll explain why. The first reason why many studios use them is space. Sometimes you have a crowded desk or you have a console and you only have like a little bit of space where you can place your mouse. Now imagine if you have one of these normal mice, you have to move your hand around and you need like physical space in order to do that. Well, with the trackball, you can just lay your hand on it and just go like this and you can go from one part of the screen to a completely other part of the screen or completely to a different monitor very very easily because you just roll this ball and it's there it's good to go also they have many customizable buttons and i'll show you how i'm configuring mine to work in cubase or in wavelab or in other applications because this you can program for every single application now this particular trackball is the kensington slim blade um, there's also the expert mouse that comes in like i think a wired version and a wireless version to be honest with you i tried all of them and i found that for my needs and for the way i rest my hand on it i found that the slim blade was the one that was giving me the less fatigue from any mouse out there be it trackable or a normal mouse every other mouse was giving me a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of you know um, uh, you know carpal tunnel syndrome uh, symptoms so i wasn't really keen on that and this wasn't so that's the first thing that i that you know that made me switch to this mouse. So let me show you how I can figure this mouse and why it's easier to work with audio when you're using a mouse like this. So let me show you why trackballs might be easier to navigate when you want to work with audio and video and anything that has to do with editing that needs really, really precise movements of the cursor. In this case, I am inside Cubase and as you can see, I can just move very, very quickly from one side of the project to the other, like this, very, very quickly, up and down. I don't even have to move my arm. I can just go like this. I want to go to the beginning of the project, then I want to jump to the end of the project. It's not a stressful experience. If I want to scroll, for example, let's say I want to zoom in and I want to scroll, I can just go like this. So I don't have to go like, <laughs> like with a normal mouse. Now. If I want to do very precise edits, let's say I want to cut right here, for example, see I can just move this like this, then I can hit the old key and then I can just very, very finely move the trackball so that I can go exactly to the spot that I want to cut. Now, if I try to do this with a mouse, the problem would be that by the time I find the right place, I might move the mouse accidentally again. In this case, when I leave my cursor there, it won't move. I can go like this, it won't really move. So this way I can just cut exactly where I want. So there's no guesswork. I just leave it right there, it stays there. You know, I don't, I can't really move it accidentally, which is really, really great. Now, another way I use this when I'm recording myself, or let's say I'm recording a guitar or a bass or a synthesizer, and I'm a little bit further away from the computer, I just set my cursor on the record button right there, and I can just press it like this. 
and stop it like that. It's very, very easy and there's no way I can move this again. So that means that I can go f further away, go back, press record again and the cursor always stays there. This is very convenient. It might sound like a small thing, but trust me, it really saves a lot of time. With a normal mouse, you can never be sure if your cursor is going to remain at the same place. Now, another very cool thing with this trackball is that the actual scrolling mechanism is built into the trackball. So I can just move my trackball like this. I don't need a physical control and I can hear a very distinct clicking sound, which gives me like a nice feedback when I'm scrolling. I really like that. It's really, really fast. I prefer it to the ring that the expert mouse has, to be honest with you, that felt a little bit weird for me. This is way, way better in my opinion. And of course, the other thing is that the Slim Blade is fully customizable. It comes with an app, which is called the Trackball Works. And that means that I can customize this app so that these buttons do different things depending on the app that I'm using at any certain time. Uh, for example, if I go to Cubase, you will see that I have um, these top buttons when I use them in combination, they pull up my mixer. The left top button activates the loop selection and the right one activates the reference switching. So I can toggle between my mix and my reference track. And if you want to know how to do this in Cubase, I have a video for this. Please check out the link right there. Now, let me show you, for example, how this works in Cubase. For example, let's say I want to pull up a mixer. I just press these two top buttons and boom, I have my mixer like this very, very easily. I don't even have to reach out for the keyboard. Now, another thing I can do is I can say I want to double click. I always want to double click on a track so I can rename it. For example, if I double click on this one, I want to rename this from markers to something else. I can just click these two buttons together and there we go. This is double click. I don't have to go, you know, all the time. If you have to do this, like a thousand times per day, trust me, this saves you so much time and also less strain on your wrist, you know, it's important. The other thing that you can do is loop a selection. For example, let's say I want to go like this and very precisely select a portion of this audio file. See, I can do very, very small movements and it's very, very precise. See, very precise. And now I can press this button right here and I can loop this selection. I select another one. See how quickly I can do this. I don't even have to go and do shortcuts. Everything is right there. So it's very easy for me to go and select a section and then go like this. It's very, very simple, especially when you want to correct like breaths, uh, S's, all those things. This is really, really fast when you want to do these kinds of things. That's why if you want to be very fast at editing, a trackball might be the way to go. And of course, like I showed you, I can go back and forth between a reference track and my main mix. And again, I can do it like this. So this way I can minimize my hand movements as much as possible because I actually need my hands to play the instruments, play the keyboards, play the bass, play the guitar. I don't want to stress my hands too much to do editing. And this really helps me out big, big time. And the final thing I want to say about the Slim Blade is that it's very well built. You know, the ball is really nicely built. It's a very solid piece of plastic. I really like the way that it's built. It has a nice solid weight to it. It's not flimsy. It's very, very good, feels very good. And it's very easy to clean. See, the sensors are right there. They're exposed. So it's very easy to just wipe them off with, an, with a cloth and your trackball is back in perfect condition. So really, really good. It lays back flat on every desk and it works great. So there you go, guys. That's why I use the Kensington Slim Blade to record, produce, mix, do audio editing, do video editing. I really swear by this thing. And that's the reason why you see many audio engineers and producers, professional, use trackballs instead of normal mice. Hope you found this video useful. Hope it answered this question that quite a few had. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification icon, and until next time, make some great music. Bye-bye.